Your new book, We Are All Weird, calls for embracing the notion that everyone deserves the dignity and respect that comes from, from being heard. Let's talk about user experience researchers for a second. Their job is to provide insights into product users, their perspectives, and their abilities to the right people at the right time. A big portion of user experience researchers' work involves negotiation and persuasion, not research. Understanding user behavior and usage of product is a disturbance to some people. What do you recommend to organizations who tend not to be mature about knowing about their users? You know, the user experience people have a problem, which is they haven't studied the user experience of people who are using user experience. And the problem comes down to worldview. Everyone tells themselves a story, everyone has biases, everyone has expectations. And the user experience people believe that they are data-based, that they are data-driven, and they believe they are right. And they often believe that someone who doesn't get that is immature, who doesn't get that is uh, too intuitionistic, and is shooting from the hip, and that that's somehow wrong. Well, the rest of the people who are creators and marketers and designers might say, you know what, if Henry Ford had listened to his users, we'd still have better buggy whips. And if Steve Jobs had listened to his users, we'd all be using a Windows machine. Uh, there's a conflict here, and the conflict has nothing to do with whether the user experience is true and whether it's right. It has to do with your worldview, your perception. Why on earth would you go into the business of inventing new products, go into the business of designing new software, if all you wanted to do was be a conduit for masses of people speaking up? So the worldview that people who create have is, wait, why are you telling me that the masses are smarter than me? And the worldview they have is, well, if this is important, then I'm not. And so there's a marketing problem here and a storytelling problem here. There isn't a problem of truth and there isn't a problem of maturity. So I think the question is flawed. And the right question is, how can I use the insights that I'm able to extract to help this person look better, to allow this person to take credit, and to give this person a tool that lets them take even more responsibility. That when you give people credit and you are willing to uh, give them authority without having to give them responsibility, people will always take it. And so the opportunity here is to package the insights that we get, whether they're on video or in writing, in a way that lets the intuitive artisan take it and do her best work, right? Their mistake is selling it as the market is right and you are wrong. And that gulf is going to have to be crossed by the user experience people because they're the ones who are frustrated. So many software development organizations are doing what's called achieving failure. So they're building something that nobody wants, doing it on time, on budget, with high quality, and with beautiful designs. They successfully execute mm -hmm. the wrong plan. Sure. How can this be prevented? Well, you get what you measure, right? So what are you measuring? If there was uh, a way to see, and there's a you know, video camera right here on this monitor, to see people using your new build right there on the spot, you would be measuring that but you don't because the mindset of someone who makes a book or someone who makes a CD-ROM or someone who ships a piece of software is it goes into the world and anything that comes back is noise. So one of the things that we need to be better at is building these conduits, making it so that deep domain knowledge comes back and the noise, the irrelevant noise, is removed. And one of the ways we do that now is by using uh, user testing in a way that lets, it be, uh, lets, lets me touch it. I don't want to see a table. I don't want to know that 14% of the people use time tracking. What I want is to see a video or read an impassioned letter from someone important who's frustrated with me. Because if I can see that, I'm way more likely to empathize with it. So, mostly, most UX researchers come from the psychology side of mm -hmm. education, and most of the stakeholders we deal with come from the engineering side of, of education. What is the most basic advice you can give a user experience practitioner who is dealing with stakeholders who don't understand or don't respect what they do? You know, um, I was in Turkey uh, a couple weeks ago and I watched a tourist uh, walk into a local store and become incensed that no one there spoke English. And I guess the question is, is it the Turk's fault that he didn't speak English? It's not really. Uh, your customer speaks engineering. 
So you got to figure out a way to speak engineering and not demand that they speak psychology. Thank you very much. Pleasure.